Chandra Wickremasinghe, born the 20th of January 1939, is a Sri Lankan-born British mathematician, astronomer and astrobiologist of Sinhalese ethnicity. His research interests include the interstellar medium, infrared astronomy, light scattering theory, applications of solid state physics to astronomy, the early solar system, comets, astrochemistry, the origin of life and astrobiology. A student and collaborator of Fred Hoyle, the pair worked jointly for over 40 years as influential proponents of panspermia. In 1974 they proposed the hypothesis that some dust in interstellar space was largely organic, later proven to be correct. Hoyle and Wickramasinghe have advanced the argument that various outbreaks of illnesses on Earth are of extraterrestrial origins, including the 1918 flu pandemic and certain outbreaks of polio and mad cow disease. For the 1918 flu pandemic they hypothesized that cometary dust brought the virus to Earth simultaneously at multiple locations—a view almost universally dismissed by experts on this pandemic. Claims connecting terrestrial disease and extraterrestrial pathogens have been rejected by the scientific community. Wickramasinghe has written more than 30 books about astrophysics and related topics. He has made appearances on radio, television, and film, and he writes online blogs and articles. He has appeared on BBC Horizon, UK Channel 5, and the History Channel. He appeared on the 2013 Discovery Channel program, Red Rain. He has an association with Daisaku Ikeda, president of the Buddhist sect Soka Gakkai International, that led to the publication of a dialogue with him, first in Japanese and later in English, on the topic of space and eternal life. Topic education and career Wickramasinghe studied at Royal College, Colombo, the University of Ceylon where he graduated in 1960 with a BSc First Class Honours in Mathematics, and at Trinity College and Jesus College, Cambridge, where he obtained his PhD and SCD degrees. Following his education, Wickramasinghe was a Fellow of Jesus College, Cambridge from 1963 to 1973, until he became Professor of Applied Mathematics and Astronomy at University College Cardiff. Wickramasinghe was a consultant and advisor to the President of Sri Lanka from 1982 to 1984, and played a key role in founding the Institute of Fundamental Studies in Sri Lanka. After 15 years at University College Cardiff, Wickramasinghe took an equivalent position in the University of Cardiff, a post he held from 1990 until 2006. After retirement in 2006, he incubated the Cardiff Centre for Astrobiology as a special project reporting to the president of the university. In 2011 the project closed down, losing its funding in a series of UK educational cutbacks. After this event, Wickramasinghe was offered the opportunity to move to the University of Buckingham as director of the Buckingham Centre for Astrobiology, University of Buckingham where he has been since 2011. He maintains his part-time position as a UK professor at Cardiff University. In 2015 he was elected visiting scholar, Churchill College, Cambridge, England 2015-16. He is a co-founder and board member of the Institute for the Study of Panspermia and Astroeconomics, set up in Japan in 2014, and the editor-in-chief of the Journal of Astrobiology and Outreach. He was a visiting by fellow, Churchill College, Cambridge, England 2015-16, Professor and Director of the Buckingham Centre for Astrobiology at the University of Buckingham, a post he has held since 2011, Affiliated Visiting Professor, University of Peridenia, Sri Lanka, and a Board Member and Research Director at the Institute for the Study of Panspermia and Astroeconomics, Agaki City, Gifu, Japan, in 2016. 2017, Professor Chandra Wickramasinghe was appointed adjunct professor in the Department of Physics, at the University of Rahuna, Matara, Sri Lanka. Research 
In 1960 he commenced work in Cambridge on his PhD degree under the supervision of the late Sir Fred Hoyle, and published his first scientific paper on graphite particles as interstellar grains in monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society in 1962. He was awarded a PhD degree in mathematics in 1963 and was elected a Fellow of Jesus College Cambridge in the same year. In the following year he was appointed a staff member of the Institute of Astronomy, Cambridge. Here he continued to work on the nature of interstellar dust, publishing many papers in this field, that led to a consideration of carbon-containing grains as well as the older silicate models. Wickramasinghe published the first definitive book on interstellar grains in 1967. He has made many contributions to this field, publishing over 350 papers in peer-reviewed journals, over 75 of which are in Nature. Hoyle and Wickramasinghe further proposed a radical kind of panspermia that included the claim that extraterrestrial life forms enter the Earth's atmosphere and were possibly responsible for epidemic outbreaks, new diseases, and genetic novelty that Hoyle and Wickramasinghe contended was necessary for macroevolution. Chandra Wickramasinghe had the longest running collaboration with Fred Hoyle. Their publications on books and papers arguing for panspermia and a cosmic hypothesis of life are controversial and, in particular detail, essentially contra the scientific consensus in both astrophysics and biology. Several claims made by Hoyle and Wickramasinghe between 1977 and 1981, such as a report of having detected interstellar cellulose, were criticized by one author as pseudoscience. Topic. Organic molecules in space In 1974 Wickramasinghe first proposed the hypothesis that some dust in interstellar space was largely organic, and followed this up with other research confirming the hypothesis. Wickramasinghe also proposed and confirmed the existence of polymeric compounds based on the molecule formaldehyde H2CO. Fred Hoyle and Wickramasinghe later proposed the identification of bicyclic aromatic compounds from an analysis of the ultraviolet extinction absorption at 2175A, thus demonstrating the existence of polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbon molecules in space. <laughs> Hoyle Wickramasinghe model of panspermia Throughout his career, Wickramasinghe, along with his collaborator Fred Hoyle, has advanced the panspermia hypothesis, that proposes that life on Earth is, at least in part, of extraterrestrial origin. The Hoyle-Wickramasinghe model of panspermia include the assumptions that dormant viruses and desiccated DNA and RNA can survive unprotected in space, that small bodies such as asteroids and comets can protect the seeds of life, including DNA and RNA, living, fossilized, or dormant life, cellular or non-cellular, and that the collisions of asteroids, comets, and moons have the potential to spread these seeds of life throughout an individual star system and then onward to others. The most contentious issue around the Hoyle-Wickramasinghe model of the panspermia hypothesis is the corollary of their first two propositions that viruses and bacteria continue to enter the Earth's atmosphere from space, and are hence responsible for many major epidemics throughout history. Towards the end of their collaboration, Wickramasinghe and Hoyle hypothesized that abiogenesis occurred close to the galactic center before panspermia carried life throughout the Milky Way, and stated a belief that such a process could occur in many galaxies throughout the universe. Scientists in North America, Europe, Russia, and Japan are testing many aspects of panspermia. Further information at panspermia hashtag research in outer space. Topic: <laughs> Detection of living cells in the stratosphere. 
On 20 January 2001 the Indian Space Research Organisation conducted a balloon flight from Hyderabad, India to collect stratospheric dust from a height of 41 km feet with a view to testing for the presence of living cells. The collaborators on this project included a team of UK scientists led by Wickramasinghe. In a paper presented at a SPI conference in San Diego in 2002 the detection of evidence for viable microorganisms from 41 km above the Earth's surface was presented. However, the experiment did not present evidence as to whether the findings are incoming microbes from space rather than microbes carried up to 41 km from the surface of the Earth. In 2005 the ISRO group carried out a second stratospheric sampling experiment from 41 km altitude and reported the isolation of three new species of bacteria including one that they named Janibacter hoyle sp. November, in honor of Fred Hoyle. However, these facts do not prove that bacteria on Earth originated in the cosmic environment. Samplings of the stratosphere have also been carried out by Yang et al. 2005-2009. During the experiment strains of highly radiation-resistant Deinococcus bacterium were detected at heights up to 35 km. Nevertheless, these authors have abstained from linking these discoveries to panspermia. Wickramasinghe was also involved in coordinating analyses of the red rain in Kerala in collaborations with Godfrey Louis. Topic: Extraterrestrial pathogens. Hoyle and Wickramasinghe have advanced the argument that various outbreaks of illnesses on Earth are of extraterrestrial origins, including the 1918 flu pandemic and certain outbreaks of polio and mad cow disease. For the 1918 flu pandemic they hypothesized that cometary dust brought the virus to Earth simultaneously at multiple locations. A view almost universally dismissed by external experts on this pandemic. On the 24th of May 2003, The Lancet published a letter from Wickramasinghe, jointly signed by Milton Wainwright and Jayant Nalakar, in which they hypothesized that the virus that causes severe acute respiratory syndrome (SARS) could be extraterrestrial in origin instead of originating from chickens. The Lancet subsequently published three responses to this letter, showing that the hypothesis was not evidence-based, and casting doubts on the quality of the experiments referenced by Wickramasinghe in his letter. Claims connecting terrestrial disease and extraterrestrial pathogens have been rejected by the scientific community. Polonarua. <laughs> On 29 December 2012 a green fireball was observed in Polonarua province, Sri Lanka. It disintegrated into fragments that fell to the earth near the villages of Aralaganwila and Dambulagala and in a rice field near Dalakani. Rock samples were submitted to the Medical Research Institute of the Ministry of Health in Colombo. The rocks were sent to the University of Cardiff in Wales for analysis, where Chandra Wickramasinghe's team analysed them and claimed that they contained extraterrestrial diatoms. From January to March 2013, five papers were published in the Fringe Journal of Cosmology outlining various results from teams in the United Kingdom, United States, and Germany. However, independent experts in meteoritics stated that the object analyzed by Wickramasinghe's team was of terrestrial origin, a fulgurite created by lightning strikes on Earth. Experts in diatoms complemented the statement, saying that the organisms found in the rock represented a wide range of extant terrestrial taxa, confirming their earthly origin. Wickramasinghe and collaborators responded, using X ray diffraction, oxygen isotope 
microscope analysis, and scanning electron microscope observations, in a March 2013 paper asserting that the rocks they found were indeed meteorites, instead of being created by lightning strikes on Earth as stated by scientists from the University of Peridenia. Topic. Participation in the creation-evolution debate Wickramasinghe and his mentor Fred Hoyle have also used their data to argue in favor of cosmic ancestry, and against the idea of life emerging from inanimate objects by abiogenesis. Wickramasinghe attempts to present scientific evidence to support the notion of cosmic ancestry and the possibility of high intelligence in the universe and of many increasing levels of intelligence converging toward a god as an ideal limit. During the 1981 scientific creationist trial in Arkansas, Wickramasinghe was the only scientist testifying for the defense, which in turn was supporting creationism. In addition, he wrote that the Archaeopteryx fossil finding is a forgery, a charge that the expert scientific community considers an absurd and ignorant statement. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Honors and Awards. Commonwealth Scholar at Trinity College, Cambridge, 1960–1963 Powell Prize for English Verse, Trinity College, 1961 Vidya Jyoti from the President of Sri Lanka, 1992 Honorary D. Lit, Soka University, Japan, 1996 Doctor of Science Honoris Causa, University of Rahuna, Sri Lanka, 2004 Visiting by Fellowship, Visiting Scholar, Churchill College, Cambridge, England 2015-16 ADA Dharana Sri Lankan of the Year 2017 Global Scientist Topic books Interstellar Grains Chapman and Hall, London, 1967 Light Scattering Functions for Small Particles with Applications in Astronomy Wiley, New York, 1973 Solid State Astrophysics ed., with D. J. Morgan D. Rydell, Boston, 1975 Interstellar Matter with F. D. Kahn and P. G. Mesger, Swiss Society of Astronomy and Astrophysics, 1974. The Cosmic Laboratory, University College of Cardiff, 1975. Life Cloud: The Origin of Life in the Universe with Fred Hoyle, J.M. Dent, London, 1978. Diseases from Space with Fred Hoyle, J.M. Dent, London, 1979 Origin of Life with Fred Hoyle University College Cardiff Press, 1979 Space Travelers, The Bringers of Life with Fred Hoyle University College Cardiff Press, 1981 Evolution from Space with Fred Hoyle J.M. Dent, London, 1981 ISBN 978-0-460-04535-3 is Life and Astronomical Phenomenon. University College Cardiff Press, 1982. ISBN 9780906449493 Why Neo-Darwinism Does Not Work with Fred Hoyle University College Cardiff Press, 1982 ISBN 9780906449509 Proofs That Life Is Cosmic with Fred Hoyle Institute of Fundamental Studies, Sri Lanka, Memoirs No. 1, 1982 From Grains to Bacteria with Fred Hoyle University College Cardiff Press, 1984 ISBN 9780906449646 Fundamental Studies and the Future of Science ed. University College Cardiff Press, 1984 ISBN 9 
1980,980,906,449,578 living comets with Fred Hoyle, University College Cardiff Press, 1985. ISBN 9780906449578 Hoyle, Jeffrey 1981. Direct, 1991 ISBN 9780792311898 Life on Mars. The Case for a Cosmic Heritage with Fred Hoyle Clinical Press, Bristol, 1997 ISBN 9781854570413 Astronomical Origins of Life, Steps Towards Panspermia with Fred Hoyle, Kluwer, Dordrecht, 2000 ISBN 9780792300 3 360,810 Cosmic Dragons, Life and Death on Our Planet Souvenir Press, London, 2001 ISBN 9780285640017 Hoyle, Kluwer, Dordrecht, 2003 ISBN 9781402014375 Hoyle, Journey with Fred Hoyle, World Scientific, Singapore, 2005 ISBN 9789812521000 Hoyle, Kluwer, Dordrecht, 1993 World Scientific, Singapore, April 2013 ISBN 9789814436120 The Search for Our Cosmic Ancestry, World Scientific, New Jersey 2015, ISBN 978-981-461696-6 Walker, Theodore, Wickramasinghe, Chandra 2015. The Big Bang and God and Astro-Theology. Palgrave Macmillan U.S. DOI, 10.1057, 9781137535030. ISBN 978-1-349-57419-3. Topic articles Hoyle, F. and Wickramasinghe, N.C., 1962. On graphite particles as interstellar grains, more not, Roy, ASTR, Society 124, 417-433 Hoyle, F., Wickramasinghe, N.C., 1969. Interstellar grains. Nature. 223 5205 450 to 462 Bibcode 1969 nature.223 459 h DOI 10.1038-223459A0 Wickramasinghe NC 1974 Formaldehyde polymers in interstellar space, Nature 252, 462-463 Wickramasinghe, N.C., Hoyle, F., Brooks, J., Shaw, G. 1977. Prebiotic polymers and infrared spectra of galactic sources. Nature. 269 5630 674 to 676 
Bibcode 1977 Nature.269 674 W DOI 10.1038/269674A0 Hoyle F and Wickramasinghe NC 1977 Identification of the Lambda 2200 or Interstellar Absorption Feature, Nature 270, 323 to 324F, Hoyle, N.C., Wickramasinghe, the 4th of November 1976. Primitive grain clumps and organic compounds in carbonaceous chondrites, PDF. Nature. 264 5581 45 to 46 Bibcode 1976 nature.264 45 H DOI 10.1038/264045A0 Retrieved the 18th of January 2013 Hoyle F and Wickramasinghe NC 1977 Polysaccharides and infrared spectra of galactic sources, Nature 268, 610 to 612. Hoyle, F. Wickramasinghe, N.C. 1979. On the nature of interstellar grains. Astrophysics and space science. 66 to 77 minus 90. Bibcode, 1999 App and SS.268, 249 H. DOI, 10.1023, a, 1 trillion 2 billion 462 million 602 thousand 776. Hoyle, F., Wickramasinghe, N.C. 1979. Biochemical chromophores and the interstellar extinction at ultraviolet wavelengths. Astrophysics and Space Science. 65 241-244. Bibcode, 1979 App and SS, 241 H. DOI, 10.1007, BF0064350303. Hoyle, F., Wickramasinghe, N.C., Al Mufti, S., Al, 1982. Infrared spectroscopy over the 2.9 to 3.9 micrometers waveband in biochemistry and astronomy. Astrophysics and space science. 83 to 405 minus 409. Bibcode, 1999 App and SS.268, 161 H. DOI, 10.1023, a, 1 trillion 2 billion 417 million 307 thousand 802. Hoyle, F., Wickramasinghe, N.C., Al Mufti, S. 1982. Organo-siliceous biomolecules and the infrared spectrum of the trapezium nebula. Astrophysics and space science. 86 63-69. Bibcode, 1982 App and SS, 0.86, 63H. DOI, 10.1007, BF0065183O. Hoyle, F. Wickramasinghe, N.C. 1983. Bacterial life in space. Nature. 306 5942 420 Bibcode 1983nature.306 420h DOI 10.1038/306420a0 Hoyle F and Wickramasinghe NC 1986 the Case for Life as a Cosmic Phenomenon, Nature 322, 509-511 Hoyle, F. and Wickramasinghe, N.C., 1990. Influenza, Evidence Against Contagion, Journal of the Royal Society of Medicine 83. 258-261 Napier, W.M., Wickramasinghe, J.T., Wickramasinghe, N.C., 2007. The Origin of Life in Comets. International Journal of Astrobiology. 
6 4 321 to 323 Bib code 2007 IJASB point six three hundred and twenty one N DOI ten point one oh one seven S one four seven three five five oh four oh seven oh oh three nine four one Ralph K Wickramasinghe C twenty ten Evidence for biodegradation products in the interstellar medium International Journal of Astrobiology 9-1-29-34. Bib code, 2010IJASB, point nine r Site 6 10.1.1.643.9541. DOI, 10.1017, S1473550409990334. Wickramasinghe, N.C. 2010. The Astrobiological Case for Our Cosmic Ancestry. International Journal of Astrobiology. 9 2, 119-129. Bib code, 2010IJASB, point nine, 119W. DOI, 10.1017, S1473550409990413. Wickramasinghe, N. C., Wallace, J., Wallace, D. H., Schild, R. E., Gibson, C. H. 2012. Life-Bearing Planets in the Solar Vicinity. Astrophysics and Space Science. 341 295-9. Bib code, 2012 AP and SS.341-295W. DOI, 10.1007 per seconds 10509-012-1092-8. Chandra Wickramasinghe, A Journey with Fred Hoyle, The Search for Cosmic Life, World Scientific Publishing, 2005, ISBN 981-238-912-1. Janaki Wickramasinghe, Chandra Wickramasinghe and William Napier, Comets and the Origin of Life, World Scientific Publishing, 2009, ISBN 981-256-635-X Chandra Wickramasinghe and Daisaku Ikeda, Space and Eternal Life, Journeyman Press, 1998, ISBN 1-85172-060-X Topic. See also Panspermia Red rain in Kerala Milton Wainwright